Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Maria Sharapova. Maria Yulyevna Sharapova is a Russian professional tennis player, a United States resident. Since 1994, Sharapova has competed on the WTA Tour since 2001. She has been ranked world number one in singles by the WTA on five separate occasions, for a total of 21 weeks. She is one of ten women, and the only Russian, to hold the career Grand Slam. She is also an Olympic medalist, having earned silver for Russia in women's singles. At the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, Sharapova became the world number one. For the first time on August 22, 2005, at the age of 18, and last held the ranking. For the fifth time for four weeks from June 11, 2012, to July 8, 2012. Her 35 singles titles, and five Grand Slam titles, two at the French Open and one each at the Australian Open, Wimbledon and U.S. Open, rank third among active players, behind Serena and Venus Williams. She won the year-ending WTA Finals in her debut in 2004. She has also won three doubles titles. Despite an injury-prone career, Sharapova has achieved a rare level of longevity in the women's game. She won at least one singles title a year from 2003 until 2015, a streak only bested by Steffi Graf, Martina Navratilova, and Chris Evert. Several tennis pundits and former players have called Sharapova one of tennis' best competitors, with John McEnroe calling her one of the best the sport has ever seen. Sharapova has been featured in a number of modeling assignments including a feature in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue. She appeared in many advertisements, including those for Nike, Prince, and Canon, being the face of several fashion houses, most notably Cole Haan. Since February 2007, she has been a United Nations Development Program Goodwill Ambassador, concerned specifically with the Chernobyl Recovery and Development Program. In June 2011, she was named one of the 30 Legends of Women's Tennis, past, present and future by time, and in March 2012 was named one of the 100 Greatest of All Time by Tennis Channel. According to Forbes, she has been named highest paid female athlete in the world for 11 consecutive years and earned $285 million including prize money since she turned pro in 2001. In March 2016, Sharapova revealed she had failed a drug test at the 2016 Australian Open on January 26, 2016. She had tested positive for meldonium, a substance that had been banned, effective January 1, 2016 by the World Anti-Doping Agency. On June 8, 2016, she was suspended from playing tennis for two years by the International Tennis Federation. On October 4, 2016, the suspension was reduced to 15 months, starting from the date of the failed test. As the Court of Arbitration for Sports found that she had committed no significant fault, and that she had taken the substance based on a doctor's recommendation, with good faith belief that it was appropriate and compliant with the relevant rules. She returned to the WTA Tour on April 26, 2017 at the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix. Early Life Maria Sharapova was born on April 19, 1987, in Nyagan, Russian SFSR. Her parents, Yuri and Yelena, are from Gomel, Belarusian SSR. Concerned about the regional effects of the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear accident, they left their homeland shortly before Maria was born. Introduction to Tennis 
In 1989, when Sharapova was two, the family moved to Sochi, Krasnodar Krai, Russia. There her father Yuri befriended Alexander Kafelnikov, whose son Yevgeny would go on to win two Grand Slam singles titles and become Russia's first world number. One ranked tennis player, Alexander gave Sharapova her first tennis racket in 1991, when she was four, whereupon she began practicing regularly with her father at a local park. Maria took her first tennis lessons with veteran Russian coach Yuri Yutkin, who was instantly impressed when he saw her play, noting her exceptional hand-eye coordination. Start of professional tra training In 1993, at the age of six, Sharapova attended a tennis clinic in Moscow run by Martina Navratilova, who recommended professional training at the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida, which had previously trained players such as Andre Agassi, Monica Selish, and Anna Kornikova. With Moni tight, Yuri Sharapov borrowed the sum that would enable him and his daughter, neither of whom could speak English, to travel to the United States of America which they finally did in 1994. Visa restrictions prevented Sharapova's mother from joining them for two years, arriving in Florida with savings of $700. Sharapova's father took various low-paying jobs, including dishwashing, to fund her lessons until she was old enough to be admitted to the academy. Before she entered the IMG business, she trained with Rick Machi in the Rick Machi Tennis Academy. She then was offered a deal from IMG which forced her to change academies. Originally, she did train with Rick Machi, but after the deal with IMG, she could not see Rick Machi anymore. In 1995, she was signed by IMG, who agreed to pay the annual tuition fee of $35,000 for Sharapova to stay at the academy, allowing her to finally enroll at the age of nine. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.